So we've been cleaning a bunch of stuff out of the back of the addition in the shed in the backyard. So I'll give you guys a brief tour of that. So you can see there's our big sleigh that we had in the front yard. It's actually being used for storage. Most of all of the Christmas decorations that we use outdoors are in nice plastic totes stored in there. And we're going to finish putting the tarp around there securely so no animals can get in. Uh, but we're able to store almost everything. Uh, just these two totes that we filled up today we will have to go out. Like our barbecue area, there's a few weeds in there. I sprayed some Roundup in there today, but it's cute. So in case you don't know, we do have a shed here in the backyard, and um, while we want to get a new, while we want to get a new one, at some point, uh, this was the one that came with the house. And uh, anyway, we put a lot of stuff in here that was in the addition. Uh, and real briefly, we put this border up that we already had, that green border. Our yard floods like crazy, and the sidewalk in front of the shed is the lowest point of the yard. So um, it will go here, then it flows behind the trash can and out. Uh, underneath the fence back here you can kind of see some sunlight showing through underneath the metal fence um, but that border we already had so we're hoping adding that extra like three or four inches there will stop it from flooding the sidewalk and just move along beside the shed where it goes so inside the shed here we have all of our tools all of our tools all nice and labeled here we have these shelves for the remainder of the tools then all of our holiday decorations, whether it be 4th of July or fall decorations, spring, Easter. And then this mainly here is Christmas, these three shelves. So still a little bit of organizing to do here in the shed, but um, much better than, than before. Yes, that says snooth sailing. We also got the back porch better organized, believe it or not. Uh, this is where we keep a lot of our lawn equipment because we don't use this as a back porch because uh, it's mosquito heaven back here. So we still have more to do, but got a lot off of it. This room uh, we were using for extra storage and since we've moved in, it's never really been cleaned. Um, it's been organized and it's just, but we've never cleaned it out by getting rid of stuff we just don't need anymore. And we've kind of halfway finished the house project so we kind of know what will and will not fit in the house but this room is part of the addition and uh, we're actually going to make it part of the screen porch uh, pretty soon found this corner here was rotten you can see it's just dirt so we're going to have to dig that out and put some concrete back underneath there uh, but thank god the rot only goes to a little a little bit This wall here that you can see is uh, what divides the front screen porch from back here. That wall will be being removed just like that window. And this will be um, an extra 10 feet, uh, maybe even a little bit more of screened in porch that we'll have to enjoy. Now this is our screened porch here. And uh, we get some use out of it in the nicer parts of the year so we have screen up with trellis over it and that's what those went that window in the back will be converted to and i'll show you the wall that wall back there is the one we'll be removing and as i said we get an extra 10 or more feet of screened in porch which means we can probably fit all six chairs around the table now also got a new rug in the living room i like that kind of makes the division between the dining room and the living room since there's such a huge divide. Our little washing machine died and we were so lucky to be able to find this one on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, you know, we don't have room for a full size. This isn't a, a, a portable compact size machine and dryer. If you're wondering, the cutoff valves for it are actually below the house where the water comes in from the street. So we have a really long washing machine hose that comes up from underneath the house in here and then we have a cutoff valve in there it's kind of redneck but it works and um, it certainly beat replumbing the whole area and it's, it's held fine for two years so if you worked on anything recently let us know show us some pictures post a video we'd love to see it 
more to come as we continue to remodel the house and um, it never ends. We've been here over four years and it has not stopped yet. Have a great day.